Hello ladies, gents and weirdos, stalkers trying to find out where I live so they can send me dead rats in the mail. Well, the inspector, the postal inspector will intercept it, so don't even try. This is the daily challenge. First of September. This is our very last daily challenge. Uh, probably not. Probably I'll do at least one more. Just to send Splunky off on a good note. Probably dying to spikes in 1-2 and then farting around. For the entirety of the rest of the duration, uh, this bomb is going to going to be glorious. Look at it! Look at it! How glorious it is! Getting me some ropes. Ah, oh, amazing! Yes, I got me some ropes. I am so happy about these ropes. It's first of September, 2020. We return to the daily challenge of Spelunky. Uh, starting to get already pre-nostalgic. You know, we've been doing this for a while now first daily challenge that i posted was 20 2013 i was going to th say 2023 but that would have uh, totally revealed my identity as uh, the incredible time traveler that i am what is the goal of my time travel do you do you uh, question checking out this plunky scene in the past is very very important for future generations to establish and uh, verify exactly what was going on with Spelunky here. So I have ga gathered data for a whole 10 years-ish. And now I can get back to 2023 and my daily challenges then. will be informed by the incredible work that I have done. And I don't know where I was going with this entire thing, but I kind of committed to it. So I kept going until I arrived at this inevitable dead end. So hopefully... I can recover from it and maybe stop talking about it instead of continuing to refer to the petering out of this entire narrative that I constructed in like in the last five minutes. Ah, daily challenge just lucky. Am I even going to ghost today? Yeah, probably. There was a there was a shotgun. There was a beautiful shotgun in the chest. Now, I can get out of here. This is my wonderful pickaxe. Is there no shop? Have I been bamboozled by the level generation? Please grab Jack. We can shove him right through the exit. There's the shop. There's the shop. The easiest shop ever conceived. For I have the means to obliterate the son of a bitch. Speaking of obliteration. Oh, risk of rain has been, has been a rough time, man. Finally got a win against the final boss. Man, it was freaking hard fought. It was a lot of work to get that win. Look, uh, I have a pickaxe. There's a ghost coming. We have to. We must. It is written. It is preordained that I must do stuff like this. It is not my choice. It is how it must be. Might as well also grab these because there will be another pickaxe. What? Are you not ready to spend the next two hours ghosting gems? You weakling! How can you not embrace the ghosting? I have all kinds of topics to talk about. I will not run out of things to ramble on. What do you want? What do you want to talk about? The length of my fingernail? Do you chew your fingernails? Do you use a nail file? Do you use a, 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 a clipper? A nail clipper? Mm, let me know in the comments below about your nail habits. I personally bite them because I don't have the patience to sit down and file them. That, that's kind of gay. But uh, a nail clipper, sometimes I need that. Especially for the tough claws on my feet. So how you like that? How you like that for a topic of conversation, huh? How you thought that I had nothing to talk about. Here I am. Busting out the most amazing controversial topics like nails and clipping your nails. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, you can expect amazing conversation just like that one to continue happening in the upcoming daily challenge. I am now feeling bad that I grabbed so many. I was like, I'm not going to go through this level. But then I saw so many sweet, sweet 
ghostable items. We'll continue making short work of all of these thingies. Uh, I guess we can just go down through here. Beautiful stuff. My goodness. So much money to be made. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. I could even put all the pots in one spot and blow them up if I wanted to be extra super fancy. I'm not gonna do that though. Where does that sapphire come from? I don't know. But it requires to be made into a diamond. It must be done. Oh, it's a, it's a rough time in the times of the crow. That is my nickname for the coronavirus. Look, I don't care if it's not a thing. It is a thing inside my brain. And I just like to call it that way. So I'm not going to make any more apologies of that. There's a little diamond over here. It's funky, right? It used to be a crisis. Now it continues to be a crisis. The more that we are with it, though, the more it's like background noise. Huh? There's more cases, more people dying from it. Yeah, but, you know, I, I gotta get through this commute. I gotta get to, to work. I guess I'll just put on my mask and keep on going. Didn't mean to grab that. I meant to go like a champ all through this level as well. And that's probably how death shall happen today getting utterly destroyed by the ghost in the dark level but I am not daunted by darkness I will not be held back by the horrors that have been spawned in this terrible terrible ghostly domain all right I got the cushion I got the love handles to handle such attacks Fully padded to withstand terrible pain. I hate <laughs> that. I hate that there's so much money in this level. I hate it because it means I'm gonna have to use my my pickaxe to actually make money. Oh jeez! Oh Jesus! Whew! Thought for sure I would not be able to get that. Oh no 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 no! Don't do it! Ooh. La la la! <laughs> you actually didn't do it. He did do it, and now I'm at one point of health. It's all right. Makes it more interesting. Makes it more interesting, baby. I think I am descending to death. Oh, that was close. That was a close encounter of the third kind. Not the fourth kind. That will be butthole explorations. Okay, this man is thoroughly murdered. Fourth kind is butthole explorations with aliens. Of the third kind, it's just weirdo encounters with a mustachio, mustachioed man. Look at all the gems all over the place, and there's also a vault here. What is the dealio? Uh, oh, we're so close to the ghost, too. Close to the ghost. We need the pickaxe. It does exist. I believe it's all the way at the top, somewhere around here. Let me just kill this thing because, you know, it can be my death. There is a vault and it's going to be a major problem. Son of a bitch. <laughs> major problem to ghost, isn't it? There you are. Uh, we'll put a bomb there, I think. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> Almost died, baby! Everybody. Got the scrotum right up to the throat. I like it. No enemies here. There could be a spider up here. There's nothing. Could also be a snake down here. There's nothing. Oh, good, good. All right. I need this uh, ghosted over here. That vault is going to be a problem. Usually it isn't when you have a freaking Matok. But the bomb landed at the wrong spot, so I'm gonna just have to break this man out of there. And hope he just doesn't doesn't come to where I'm at for the time being. 14 bombs. I'm not going to be using them for single gems. That would be silly. But now that this man is out, I believe he's out. I'm pretty sure that placement of the bomb. 
Okay, he's dead. I need all this money. Whatever it just exploded. Oh no, bud. Don't kill my scarabs, you piece of garbage. You piece of trash. I guess I could just leave, right? That would be the smart choice. That would be the sensible choice. It's something that somebody that is not terminally greedy will do. But man, this seed is actually looking amazing for money-making purposes. If you are a daring person with all kinds of greedy inclinations, look at all this cash. I'm gonna come back. Give me all these gems for me. And of course, Belinda needs to go to the exit so we can get back to a decent amount of health. Oh boy, risk of rain, I'm telling you. I've literally had dreams. Me dreaming about risk of rain and killing aliens in risk of rain. Finally got, uh, got it beat, but I'm still playing it because uh, maybe uh, an addiction problem. May have become an addiction problem. Just want, it's just a really fun game to play. I just want to play it not for the sake of unlocking things, just because runs are fun. Anyway, let's go all the way back up there. Uh, let me tell you, man, that boss fight that they introduced in on the release patch is just unreasonable. <laughs> it's just so difficult. Stupidly hard. You need a certain build to be able to get there, uh, to get there and to, to beat it. And then, it's not just that. Right after that, you need to get through this horrible gauntlet that is so easy to lose. At. Look at this. Oh, well, I, I'm glad that we have the pickaxe in hand. Because otherwise, I would have had a very bad time. Come with me, Belinda. You're going to make this run from a zero to a hero. There you go. No longer a zero. I am now the greatest. So there is an angry shopkeeper down there. He is guarding some scarers that I believe that he already murdered. Uh, I believe that pickaxe, though. I'm going to take it. But it's about to explode. This mad talk. It is not long for this world. Darkness is getting my ball sack to stand on end. The hair on it, not the ball sack itself. That will be probably very painful, like a torsion of the intestines for a dog. That will be the human version. For my ball sack to get us itself twisted and stand backwards. Hey, look, it's money. Is this explored already? Clearly not, because it's completely dark. Okay, we can get that ruby. And since we are... Hoping for this Matok to be exhausted. Oh, the worst place, but I was ready. I was psychologically prepared. Look, I'm going to grab that scarab, okay? I'm going to do it. Give me this torch so I can navigate all the way back to the other gem. 1-3. Can't believe it. 1-3. This emerald. It's too difficult to ghost. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, we are already, what, what, 13 minutes into the run? Nuts! But look, there's lots of cash, and I left behind a lot. Somebody that were better at this game would already have a good 300,000 or more. And if you're duping, man, if you're bothering to dupe, you probably would be like 500,000, something silly like that. Anyway... Belinda gave us a kiss, reinvigorating our capabilities. Oh, you just had to run out of your stupid shop, you garbage person. Come on, keep walking. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, just a little bit further, you piece of garbage. You walking hu heap of human waste. You animated trash bag. One more time. Come on, it's 50-50. Thank you. 
for complying. You absolute trash. <laughs> it's just a good rule is nonsense, okay? Now all we need is a jetpack and a Kali Altar, and we'll be set for the great ghostening of all time. Greatest, most greediest ghostening. We'll uh, leave all those together, and I'm telling you, man, we're going balls to the wall greedy here. Uh, maybe we can put those spots somewhere that will actually explode in a uh, appropriate situation over here. Get all these spots right there. Clackety clack goes my keyboard. I I very much enjoy those sounds when they're subtle. I believe that I have said this before. When they're right in your face, just clicking super loud, very distracting. I think my level right now of clackety clacking is actually quite guys, nice, quite good. You no, nope, I was about to say you're probably trapped behind the exit, right? You were not. You were just a scumbag that was just waiting. Laying wait, being a piece of garbage, just hoping to catch me when I least expect it. Look, there's three gems, and there's a bomb to be placed here. And there is stuff to be gained. Well, okay. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted that to be ghosted. I was going out of my way to get that ghosted properly. This arrow will not kill me. I, I refuse. Alright, that's good stuff. We'll get the ghost coming from that side. And uh, it's wrong to use a bomb there, so I'm not going to. But man, the temptation is there. I'm adjusting myself in my chair, that's why you heard me go back and forth like a retard. Alright, another level to be ghosted. Only a meager 15 minutes in the mines. Not a big deal. I don't like to ghost that nonsense down there. Oh, little, little. Take a point of damage. That would buy you. Might be worth it to save Jacqueline. Because there's also money in there. I mean, if it were just the value of her human life, obviously she's not worth a single explosive. But because there's also a diamond to be grabbed, that tipped me over the, over the edge. Do not value her hard enough. I definitely value the money that she's guarding. It's definitely triggered. Sweet. Alrighty. Um, I think it goes till they went to this side. I was wondering there was a snake over here, but may have been a different level. Um, been working for a long time now. A long time. I'm talking a good half a year. Off and on. It's not like a constant project, but it's there. I work on it every week. Whenever I got the time, maybe one, it would be like an hour at a time, here and there, maybe twice a week, something like that. This enormous, enormous art project that I got. That is the most giant mandala complex that you could possibly imagine. Doing it digitally, because it enables you to save a ton of time and, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff that you wouldn't. But it's going to make the most glorious poster you have ever imagined. It's going to be fantastic. I've never felt all that into selling merch. But man, I am down for selling merch about, uh, on this uh, when I finally get it done. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Very much looking forward to uh, putting it out there. Kind of mad that uh, this, this plant... Yeah, this plant being very difficult there we go i do want to continue lighting up the place i don't want that scarab that piece of garbage it's fleeing from me. lighting up the place step number one we'll make it our way back and there was the ai for scarabs do they constantly simply just flee from you do they have the same ai as maybe uh alien aliens do do that sometimes most of the time this blue frog wants to get. What a piece of garbage. Ooh, loo, loo, loo. <laughs> if it weren't for that cape. If it weren't for that cape. I will be dead. Pretty sure there's no ghosting happening in this one. All 
I believe that we have lit up the place as much as we can. Oh, I thought that the arc of that bomb would be optimal. Some, some very disappointing bomb throws here. Okay, never mind. Clearly, I am a freaking idiot. So, what we're going to do go back for the shotgun. Take care of this scumbag. That way. I've been humiliated by frogs. For the last time. Back to the start. Thankfully, I have lots of ropes. I was uh, very much counting on that. When I made my way all the way to the bottom, I was like, ah, getting back won't be too much trouble. Because we have all these ropes. Pretty sure this is not the way I started. Is it? It is the way I started. <laughs> Look, it's a long, winding, complicated level. I was about to say, we want the ghost from this side, but really, it doesn't quite matter. We do need to go back for uh, Lisa. Well, sir, you are managing to dodge every one of my shots. Thank you. Oh, there's a vault. There's a vault? Why do you put the vaults in the dark levels? Me? <laughs> And all the ghosting has been uh, finished <laughs> very easily. I will be surprised if there's no several people doing 2 million here. Uh, 1.3, I guess not a lot of people went for it. It's, it's, it's basically the butt end of this Polanki daily challenge life. Freaking key, ticket traps. Of all the things that could have killed me, it had to be a freaking ticket trap. Let's go back into adventure mode. Because we still got some minutes to fill up to the to the contractually obligated 30 minute allotment for Spelunky shenanigans. Uh, the most beautiful uh, daily challenge. Definitely need to do another one now because I can't just leave it like that. It would have been a glorious, glorious last daily challenge if I had not been murdered by some freaking dumbass tiki traps in the middle of a dark level. It was a difficult seed, though. I don't think that's uh, an exaggeration. If you wanted to do make money on that one, uh, it was pretty damn tough to get around all the damn darkness. Mr. Viper, sure. We oh. Excuse me. We I said. There you go. In the middle of having a great time, you just have to throw an arrow in my face. Now we have this pickaxe. We do have a little bit of, you know, uh, health deficit. Uh, sure. Well, that is not exactly the way that I wanted it to go. I wanted to cave his skull in with my Matok. Instead, what I did was destroy his shop, getting him real mad, and then he just punched me in the back of the head. Now I have a brain hemorrhage with combined with my usual idiocy just uh, do me in completely. Like I had a little bit of hope before this, but after this brain hemorrhage, bike lock to the head, back of the head, well, now I am only reduced to reporting on Tifa. Uh, uh, I was hoping to avoid the battle today. But... Oh, the chest was there. I would like to have, there's a speed running session that I don't know if it's, it's probably going to happen after this. Yeah, for sure. Trying real hard to get a hell run, but I got something way better than a hell run. So, you know, I really was not unhappy with the results of that entire play session. Even though, spoiler alert, did not get that hell run. It was glorious. It was such a glorious, <laughs> glorious run was not even salty well the first spikes didn't get me of course there will be a second beautifully praised trap beautiful pre praised trap i am of the school of, of joe biden diction i don't feel like i can possibly make fun of good old uh, joe biden man because i have the exact same problem 
constantly slur words. Maybe not the horrible mental decline, but I'm getting there. I'm very much getting there. Let me just put a bomb here. I definitely have very, very similar problem of struggling with spelling out words correctly, always running over my own words and going, having to go back and repeat myself, all that kind of nonsense. I can relate to the guy. It's tough, especially if you need to make public speeches and all that. Maybe the answer will be, uh, maybe don't go into politics, but <laughs> I bet that the problem was not nearly as bad in his youth. You see the clips of the Biden boy? And uh, he's mostly speaking normally. Uh, I bet he got over it, like with uh, speech coaches and nonsense like that. But you know, old age ravages us all. And it seems to have gotten way worse. Way worse in his old age. But uh, so I guess that's what I have to look forward to. And in the future, when we're playing Spelunky 5 in our Mega BR sets, I am busy stacking web guns on the heads of uh, shopkeepers. Well, this is death. Busy stacking web guns on the heads of shopkeepers, making fun of them for not noticing all the web guns on top of their heads. Because the VR technology is not just there yet. Maybe in a couple of years. In 2018. 2080. With the Mega VR set. Still the technology is not all the way there. Maybe in a couple of years. I'll be slurring my words. Something fierce. Even more than now. Wow. What a, what a wonderful day to be alive. Okay, sir. Just do you in. <laughs> Get the hell out of here with your wares, okay? Let me get the hell out of here. Playing Spelunky 5 is going to be amazing. Our bouts of Spelunky 5 on the Mega VR. Shopkeeper's pissed, let me remember this. It's all right. I got this under control, baby. <laughs> Everything's under control. I got it. There will be the Incredible ultra web gun. You have no clue, no idea how much the web gun will have evolved by the time Spelunky 5 comes. You think that cloning gun is amazing? You have not seen the heights to which the web gun is going to evolve. A little mad about this entire situation. He's alright, he's not going to shock and jump. I'm just going to make my way through this, no problem. Maybe we could have even saved Jackie, but make it. Oh no, don't explode, bro. <laughs> brother. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Bonk. I will bonk your head. Uh, I wanted to just uh, alert you with a shot with a bomb. It's all right. This run definitely not winning any speed awards, but I'm happy to carry it to wherever it's going to, to go. Happy to keep going forward. Oh, look, it's the exit. Me. Just go down, eventually you'll get there. No need for a compass, just make a path. Do, 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 do. Well, fastest black market of all time, question mark? It's possible, I have seen Kinney Jump runs though where he gets so lucky with that. <laughs> I mean, obviously when you do enough runs, you're going to get a good spawn at some point. But boy, I believe one of his big world record runs, he gets that black market spawn immediately right next to the exit. And it's just beautiful. I really want that stuff. It's a very tough place to get out of here though. Uh, but I, I, I need some bombs some bombs and I'm willing to, to do something like this to get them I'm glad that we went for it please get killed by just one oh glorious Glo oh we gotta get this let's hope he doesn't find me okay all right everything's fine that was all things told considering how terrible this run was going, all things told. That was incredibly successful. Okay. Uh, 
Tanya, would you like to volunteer? Thank you for volunteering. You're wonderful, Tanya. Well done. <laughs> An excellent volunteer for tough times. Okay, there's the Moahead. Just do paint upon my person, please. Look, uh, foolishly and idiotically, somehow we are making him through all this nonsense. We do have the compass. It makes this even easier to get through. No spike shoes, though. I think I was like, I'm going to take this this gamble. I'm like, I think this stumps. This is gonna stump. Thankfully, I took the chance. This way. We might need another volunteer for our experiment. So let's carry her. And once more, the volunteer wins the day. <laughs> <laughs> all of these ladies just keep giving themselves unto our science okay anubis please thank you please don't you want to come closer come closer and burn oh man this is annoying okay uh come on come on come on get close that should have uh, done damage to you sir all right well that was more effort than I thought I should have spent. Still pretty good though. Careful with the... I don't want to bomb down here. Alrighty! Die, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, that was a very her heartfelt wish for death right there. <laughs> that was extremely heartfelt threat and uh, wish for, for murder. It was very bloodthirsty. I don't know what's happening. Exits keep appearing in front of me. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Exits keep materializing in front of my face. I have only four bombs. I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to put two bombs there. Glorious. Glorious battle. No! The calculation was jumping on the mummy, holding on to the edge of the tiki trap, and vaulting over the tiki trap. I felt a little short. I fell a little short of the tiki trap. Got trapped in a terrible situation. Man, we could have gone that one. Feels feels wrong. At least we got revenge. Anyway, that was a great run. Cut short by stupidity. Nothing new. <laughs> Nothing that caught you of guard there. There was just so many awesome things. One after another though. All the exits just spawning out of nowhere. That was beautiful. Monkey was given to me. Give it to me and I just threw it into the garbage. So hopefully you had a good time. See you in the next one. That may be the last. Oh!